Hi, this is Scott Diaz with Qubit, and in this video, I'm going to show you the benefits of working with Qubit's scan navigation enhancements for AutoCAD 2015. Now, one of the really nice things about using AutoCAD 2015 is that as you attach an RCP file now, you have access to the native AutoCAD Point Cloud Manager. And that manager, when you attach the RCP, is going to reference each individual scan position for you in the list. And this is each individual RCS file that's a part of that project. So you can uh, scroll through the list. If you don't want to see all the scans at once, uh, you can isolate a scan if you like. You can also navigate to the scan view. And navigating to the scan view is really cool. This lets you see what the scanner saw from this scan position. And when you choose that option, it also changes you from a parallel view in AutoCAD to a perspective view. So right away, you're thinking, okay, this looks great. I can pan around. The problem is the second I pan, I move out of the position of the scanner, out of the correct perspective. And also the second I zoom, you can see that it jumps me way off. And that doesn't really allow you to take advantage of the position quite as much. So um, in order to get back to that position, what I can do is just double click again. And AutoCAD does provide a swivel command. You can uh, push down your control key and the middle mouse. And that will allow you to stay in the position and swivel around. But not quite as easy to use. And the other thing you notice is the more I spin around, the more I start to get a little bit off uh, keel. I'm not uh, level to the ground anymore. You can see but my the point of view is starting to bend a little. So the swivel, although it's a, it's a nice option, it's not really the optimal. So for anyone using PointSense tools, uh, be it in a PointSense plant, building heritage, or basic or pro, uh, you should now in your ribbon have these scan nav options. And before I show them, I'm just going to jump back into parallel view here. So it'll take me out of my perspective and give me back my normal zooming and orbiting options. And I'm going to turn on all the scans again so you can see this work. Okay, got all our scans turned on. And what I'm going to do first is choose this create scan labels from recap. Okay, so you see if I've got a couple options here, and we'll go through those, but create scan labels and recap. And now look at my command prompt, 81 scan labels created. So what happened there? Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. In fact, let me turn off the cloud so you can see a little bit better. See, all these spheres were created, okay? And each sphere has the name of the scan position, and they're placed where the scanner was placed in the field. So what can we do with them? Well, first, let me just show you turn on the scans and let's say we want to jump into a scan nav mode so let's turn on scan navigation okay and the command prompt asks you just choose a label that you want and let's say we choose a label over here qubit scan label and the next question it asks is do you want to isolate the scan and I'll say yes because if we don't isolate the scan it can cause a lot of noise in front and behind but what's nice from this view is the second I start panning, you notice that I stay in the position of the scanner. And the same with my zooming. I can zoom in and out, and I don't move away from that position. So it allows me to really take advantage of this point of view. If you need to move positions, let's say to go around the corner, simply choose Scan Navigation again. Choose the label you want continue moving. And you can see I don't have to worry about staying uh, in the position or holding down the control key, anything like that. This does it automatically for me. The other thing that's nice about these points of view is that you can design from them as well. You can see I just established a, a plane up here on the door frame and um, I set my UCS to that frame as well. So if I just wanted to do something, you know, really quickly, let's say, uh, let's say I just do some tracing here. I'm gonna draw out the uh, door frame.
Okay, and now if we wanted to, just for fun, extrude it, we'll just say, where do you want to extrude it to? Right there. And if we wanted to take a dimension, there's that. And anytime you want to exit out of the scan navigation mode, it's pretty simple. You just go over and turn scan navigation off. So now we can see we still got our isolated scan on the screen. We're back in our parallel mode, and we've got the door frame there as a solid along with the dimension. But it's not just tracing and dimensions uh, that you can do from this point of view. Really, um, all the Qubit tools work from these nice scan nav views. Uh, which is great for doing extraction as well. So, for example, if I wanted to uh, detect uh, a structural piece, uh, I'll just do detect type here. And I can very easily choose my points, and you can see the structural extraction uh, works very quickly there. Um, I'll go ahead and extend this out. And so now we're very, uh, very much able to see uh, what we're choosing. Uh, verify it over the point cloud very easily. Uh, so this makes modeling so much easier than, than ever before. Okay, so let's quickly go through a few more of these scan navigation options. First of all, uh, these scan nav spheres, uh, they are on their own layer. So if you want to turn them off, all you have to do is go into your layer manager and you can see that the uh, scan label options are here. And if you just turn them off, then they're off your screen and out of your way. I'll keep them on for now. Uh, next, let's talk about this specified direction of view for scan nav. Uh, so what that means is, um, for example, if I want, when I turn on a specific scan to be looking at a specific direction, let's say, for example, I want to make sure that when I choose this scan label, I want it to point exactly towards the door. So you can see I click the scan label and now it's asking me to specify my target direction. So I can tell it, okay, uh, look across the hall. So when I turn on scan nav now and I select that scan, you can see that initial my initial view is going to be looking across the hall. So that's what the purpose of that tool is. Now my next option let's talk about is create scan labels by points. Now let's say for example someone sent you raw data. It doesn't have scan position information. So when you import your RCS or RCP information, you don't have um, specific positions that you're using. Let's say it's a PTS file, for example. Uh, what you can do, let me turn off scan navigation. And I'm going to turn on my scans so that you can see them all. And let's say, for example, I wanted to create a scan label right out here in the parking lot or in the driveway. So what I'll do is say create scan label points. And you can see the command prompt says specify scan position. We'll just click out here. Okay, and you can see a sphere gets created. And now it's wanting me uh, to continue creating more scan positions if I like, or I can just hit escape. Um, from here, I can choose what direction I want it to look at. Let's say I want it to stare over at the building. Okay, and now let's jump into that scan mode that we just created. So you can see the perspective view from an artificial uh, artificially created scan position. Pretty cool. All right, the last thing I'll show is for VirtuServe users. So those of you that enjoy using Qubit's VirtuServe product, you can go over and create scan labels for VirtuServe. Well, basically, you export your scan positions from VirtuServe first. It exports a text file 
and then you use this button uh, to scroll to the text file that was created. So let me just go into the qubit files here and I've already created my scan map from VirtuServe and I'm just going to open it. Okay, And you can see that uh, it overlays the VirtuServe scan position with the recap scan position, but it doesn't create two spheres. It just lets you know that, hey, there's a VirtuServe position available for viewing here as well. And if we want to turn that on, what we have to do is choose Open Link to VirtuServe Scan and choose our scan sphere. And you can see that that opens up the VirtuServe project and opens up that scan position so that you can take advantage of uh, VirtuServe macros uh, and also this position which still has uh, many advantages uh, over even the very nice scan navigation uh, mode um, because it's more of a picture-like view uh, rather than the raw data view. So in summary, AutoCAD 2015 provides a new perspective scan view. Now, the scan view is limited when it comes to zooming and panning because it moves users away from the scan position and you really lose full advantage of the viewpoint. Now, Qubit scan nav tools enhance the user experience greatly. You're able to create scan labels per scan position. You can zoom and pan without leaving that scan position. You can move from scan to scan smoothly. And within these scan positions, you can design, measure, crop, extract, and model from the point cloud. You can even create custom scan views that don't already exist from scan positions. Finally, you can open up VirtuServe projects directly from AutoCAD with the scan nav tools. I hope this video has been helpful, and I hope you enjoy the new Qubit scan nav features for AutoCAD 2015. Thanks.